There's one other team we haven't really mentioned yet, and that's... Hello, and welcome to Blue Jays Today, where we always have something to say about the Blue Jays. I'm your host, Adam Peddle. And I'm your host, Nicholas Playlog, and today we're going to chat about our way... And I preface this by saying way, 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 way too early predictions for some of the top tier teams that we think have World Series hopes Mm -hmm. coming in to 2021. Before we break that whole thing down, though, please make sure to check us out on all of our platforms and subscribe and comment and Patreon and subscribe. Do it all. Patreon (laughs) and subscribe. Yes. Okay. So let's talk about who we think are some of the top tier Mm. teams who we think have World Series hopes Mm -hmm. in the coming season. I'm going to start this off with an easy one, talking about the Dodgers. It's a no-brainer. I'm sure that they're right up there for you. Yeah. Uh, They literally just won. It was, it was like, I immediately, I didn't do any looking into research or nothing. It was like, these ones are pretty obvious. LA Dodgers and your Yankees, they're going to be up there every single year. Yeah, yeah. Yankees Yankees. especially, uh, like, you know, I know that they're talking about maybe DJ LeMahieu leaving them and whatever, but they were also, you know, very heavy in the rumors of bringing in Trevor Bauer. Um, Mm -hmm. And then they're also in the rumors (laughs) for potentially trading for Francisco Lindor. Yeah. So I think the Yankees will be quite all right. Um, Everyone wants to play for the Yankees. You know, that makes me sad that all these players want to play for the Yankees. Like, guys, you just want the easy route? Or do you want to be known as, like, a, like a like a true champion in an underdog city where you you won and you you took it you took down the Yankees. That sounds like a better story in my opinion. Well, potentially, but you know, if the Yankees are coming at me with three hundred <laughs> mil and saying here's three hundred mil oh. and guaranteed postseason oh, for many yeah. years to yeah. come, that's fair. Uh, <laughs> and literally, maybe, arguably, like the biggest and best city in America, yeah. you might want to do that. Yeah. However. Fair enough. <laughs> they will 1,000% be right up there contending for a World Series right. again yeah. with the Dodgers. Those two are always – they seem to be locks. Mm-hmm. Now, I want to ask you because I, I, I talked before with you about this. Like I kind of like split them up in different categories. So this category, which includes Dodgers and Yankees for me, mm-hmm. um, are called my World Series contenders. Like they are – like they, I wouldn't be surprised to see them in the World Series. Now, who else do you have as like – You wouldn't be Like top tier? Yeah, top um, tier. Yeah, top so tier. I, I actually, I was looking for, because I know you told me yours yesterday or mm-hmm. whenever, and I so desperately wanted to find some sort of difference in my top tier and mm-hmm. your top tier, um, but I I didn't necessarily do it. Uh, <laughs> like, I thought Sorry. the Braves, I thought the White Sox, I thought the Rays, and I thought the Padres mm-hmm. um, all belong in that same conversation with the Yankees and the Dodgers. Um, yes. If we were to, you know, go through and number of these teams uh like dodgers for me are at number one uh it's not entirely sure where all the other yeah. guys are but you know like i think that all like the white Sox, the braves the padres the rays they all have great shots at, yeah. at going for that world yeah. series next yeah. year braves have been trying for a while rays clearly showed it this year that they are they're legit yeah well rays yeah. you always think and you go who bats on that team <laughs> And, um, you know, now now we have an answer yeah. uh, with that one kid who just showed – Randy. Them, yeah, literally, literally showed up in the postseason. So he's obviously going to be a big name for them moving forward. And mm-hmm. you had Lau coming off a nice year. And if Meadows mm-hmm. could step back up again, then they're then they're going to be they're gonna be yeah. pretty filthy. And I think the White Sox kind of fell under expectation this last year. Like I think, you know, they, they definitely should deserve to be a lot higher. Mm-hmm. They just – they came into that, that final uh, – uh, you know, a few series, just they were cold, they weren't together. And I think they're, you know, they're in the hunt for more pitching too. So I wouldn't be surprised. And another, they're yeah, apparently I, in the hunt for George Springer too. I would say mm-hmm. that the White Sox are probably like right at the bottom of yeah. that tier just because, yes, like I, I'd say that their pitching is probably weaker than like everyone else on this list, um, maybe. Mm-hmm. Uh, but uh, like they did just have, you know, the MVP, Jose Abreu, had an incredible, incredible year. 
Uh, Tim Anderson had an incredible, incredible year. Mm-hmm. Uh, it looks like Jimenez and it looks like um, Robert. A Robert are going to be studs for them moving forward. Like yeah. Their lineup's going to be great, uh, and, and I think that maybe one extra pitcher and they're going to be right yeah. there. Oh, they're going to be back. I absolutely believe so. Mm-hmm. Um, and now I have... You know, it's kind of like that. How many tiers do you have? You have three tiers, or uh, I I kind of did like top tier, then the next level, and then the third tier hopefuls. Okay. Um, you know, uh, I, and this I'd is say, for, this is for going to the World Series, right? Yeah, and mm-hmm. like like these these top tiers that we just said, like I think that um, the way that I want to phrase this is if they if they don't necessarily make a deep. Uh, postseason run, then their season should be looked at as a disappointment. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, like if I was a fan of any of these guys, I would I would be wanting them to you know make semifinals sort of mm-hmm. thing, or I would kind of be disappointed. Obviously, not all of them can make semifinals because there are six yeah. of them, um, but that's where their hopes need to yeah, lie. Yeah. So now for tier two, mm-hmm. <laughs> I got a tier two here. My tier two is like it's kind of like those guys that like. I've always been there, but like, you know, you just kind of like, you know, you could expect them to see, you know, World Series. Like, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. But it's like, you also, if they didn't make it, no one would be talking about it. Like, yeah, we failed. <laughs> Yet again. Um, and for me, that would be the Houston Astros, the Oakland Athletics, and the Cleveland Indians. I only have three in that tier. Mm, yeah. Okay. So what, what do you got? Uh, I, also, I also put the Cubs in there. Um, the Cubs for me, uh, this is also one of those ones like they have a lot going on with contracts. They have a lot going on with potential trades happening. Mm -hmm. Um, and they could be looked at as sellers. Um, you know, if, if they do end up doing that, if Chris Bryant ends up going, if they end up trading Rizzo, whatever, then obviously they're going to have to fall out of this tier for me. Yeah. Um, That's why I avoided them because they, even though they won their division last year, it's just like everything's kind of coming to an end soon. It's like, Oh yeah. They, they don't get off to a good start. Yeah. Like look what they yeah. said. They're going to be a seller. And I was also looking at the Cardinals too. Um, it seems to me that the St. Louis Cardinals, albeit, you know, uh, who like, I look at their team and I'm like, I don't necessarily see a whole lot of yeah. star power there, but I didn't see a whole lot of star power back in 2019 and they made postseason. Yeah. And I didn't see any necessarily this year either. And they had what was, you know, a pretty solid year. They seem to be a team to me that continues to contend. Um, although like they're close for me on this list. Yeah, like, for me, well. I, I actually didn't put them on my list at all. They're just like, they're one of those teams where it's like, how do you keep making it here? I don't understand. Like you could say the same thing about the Rays, but like they had great management and great team. And whereas like the Cardinals are just kind of like, I don't even know what you are. Right. <laughs> you literally have no idea. You're like kind of old and you're, you're like still managing. Like we're still in our prime. They're still like, going. They're, they're still going. It's like I, so for me, I'm like, you know, maybe this is the year where it's like they kind of wash away. I, uh, I also um, like I put the Astros in that next level, mm-hmm. but I was very close to not putting them there. Yeah. Uh, but, and the reasoning behind yeah, that, is that is that um, – Verlander obviously got hurt bad. Uh, you know, I was trying to look up some information on his injury and whatnot, and you know, they they were more very forthcoming with when this guy will be back or whatnot. But coming off of a season-ending injury, that's never good for your ace. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, he is getting very old. Uh, Grinky is getting older as well. They still Grinky performed at an incredible yeah. level last year, so I don't want to throw out any regression talks. But there needs to be some sort of concern. Okay, they're they're aging. We are losing George Springer. Mm -hmm. We had down years from Altuve. We had down years from Bregman as far as, you know, their whole career outlook is concerned. Mm -hmm. Um, So I could very easily see them falling off, in my opinion. That's true. For me, for me, it was like I was expecting a, you know, I was expecting them to do good this year and they did. Yeah, but then when it came time to postseason, they like turn on another level and, and made it to the the ALCS, you know. So like, and they actually almost came back and won and beat the Rays. So like, they were so close to postseason, like the World Series. So for me, like that's kind of was the savior for me. And like, they still have a good farm system. So like, they're gonna they're gonna be replacing these holes. And granted, you know, maybe they're not as good. And their rotation actually did pretty decent for having like a bunch of randoms in there, like guys coming up through the system. So. Yeah, was, uh, I, I think that no. they're on my level right now as to say, um, like, I could I could see a reality where where they drop off next yeah. year. They could. Um, That's fair. 
Um, cool. So do you want to do, I kind of named this, this third tier. It's like the underdogs, mm-hmm, you know, mm-hmm. it's like if they made it, it's like, whoa. And if they didn't, then yeah, of course they're underdogs. Then no one. Oh, yeah, no, yeah, not. and but, this is, know. you know, like, I think these teams right here is, like, they have they have postseason hopes, you know, mm-hmm. they have postseason hopes, and then, you know, they make it in there, and, uh, you know, who knows what can happen right yeah. now. Um, uh, let's start it off with, I think, like, you know, one that I'm, I don't know if you put down, but I put down for sure, I put the Blue Jays there. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Blue um, Jays absolutely are, are a big hopeful team. If we were to make the World Series, you know, Fans are going to go, yeah, I can see that. But it's also like, wow, that's exciting. It's like, you know, they, they, they're ahead of schedule. Yeah, we are. And, and a lot of these teams for me, they're missing a couple pieces. Yeah. But, uh, you know, like if they can solve that problem, then they will be a very complete team. Mm-hmm. And, I want, and I wanted to point something out too, like with, I wanted to compare a little bit of the Padres to the Blue Jays. Mm-hmm. So Padres, obviously last year in 2020, they had like a nice, that, this was like their breakout to the top tier. Like, well, obviously we both put them in, our, in the top tier. Right. Um, you know, in 2019 though, I looked at like their, I just took batting average in ERA just to be simple. Um, they were ranked 28th in ERA in the entire league. Mm-hmm. And, oh no, sorry, ranked 28th in batting average in the entire league and then ranked 17th in ERA. So obviously low, low, low. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, in the, the following season, in 2020, they ranked 10th in batting average and then 8th in ERA. So definitely a big, big upgrade. And I wanted to go over to compare to the Toronto Blue Jays, right? In 2019, we were in the bottom of pits. 30th, we were literally last in batting average and then 20th in ERA. However, this next season, we took a little bit of a step forward, ranking 12th in batting average and 17th in ERA. So we're now moving forward. So I could easily see us even going a launch further Especially if we make a good signing with our with our rotation, we need to get that rotation because if that can happen, I think we have a legit shot to be that breakout franchise next year, like the Padres, and make a good deep World Series run. Yeah, I, I think so too. Um, you know, like I, I again, we've talked about it before. I'm not worried about the bats. You know, like mm-hmm. we just saw that they went from 30th to 12th. <laughs> to 12. Um, wow. And you know, I. I think that around 12 is you know where i'd put that group and with a couple other breakout performances from vladdy and and to continue off of what some of those guys did last year i think that our bats would be fine yeah um you know like with the rotation though uh (laughs) that is always going to be the concern you know and and we need to see that step up from us to make us um you know put us into the next level it's like we went from 20 to 17 and all we did was add ryu you know what I mean? And like, I guess you like, I don't really consider adding Roark and Anderson as upgrades. Like they were actually not upgrades they were pretty bad. So we added Ryu and like, well, Ryu is a know, big name. He's he literally name. came off of a Cy Young yeah. season, you know? So, so. It's, so it's like, we moved up a bit, but if we can also get our younger guys, you know, they have their second sophomore seasons in the rotation and in the bullpen. Mm-hmm. And then you add another name. I think we got a good shot to be like, Top 14, top 12. Sure. You know? Yeah, I'm down for that. Um, what else you got in here? So, I got two other ones, because then I kind of had, like, all these other, like, subcategories I'll get to. Uh, but I had two other ones. One of them is the Philadelphia Phillies. Mm-hmm. And do you have them on your list? Yeah, I did. And um, I'm actually uh, pretty high on the Phillies. Oh, yeah. I'll get into that after. But yeah. what was the other team that you had? Uh, I was going to say the New York Mets. The Mets, huh? Yes, but... I've got a little, I've got a little surprise and a little, <laughs> a little something that might cause some waves. You yeah. might even call it a hot take. Okay, so I was just telling you before this, I truly believe the New York Mets have a chance, and, and I have a chance to make it to the World Series this year. And I, even though I put them in my underdogs, I actually truly believe they have a legitimate shot. Hey, and, is, is it know, a chance, or are they going to do it? I, We're in hot take land. That's right true. Now, pal. You know what? I do think they have. Uh, you know what? Hot take. They're going to do it. They're going to go. They're going to win the NL because here's why. Um, same kind of comparison I did to the Padres and the Blue Jays, mm-hmm. like their 2019, 2020 stats. In 2019, the Mets were ranked 11th in batting average and 11th in ERA, so they were contenders in 2019. That's pretty good. That's you know? pretty good. However, in 2020, they were ranked first in batting average, and then they fell down to 29th in ERA. However, this season, they have Stroman back, and they're in the market for a, like a really good starting pitcher. They're in the market for Odorizzi. They're in the market for Bauer. They're, they're, they're really fighting. And let's not forget, know? too, that, um, you know, 
Syndergaard was gone. Syndergaard, he, was, he wasn't even there last he year. He didn't even play. Um, they still have DeGrom. Yeah. So can you imagine a rotation with DeGrom, Syndergaard, uh, Stroman, and let's say they, they win it all and they get Trevor Bauer. Yeah. That's, that's that is, scary. Yeah, that is very scary. That you know, is very scary. With the number one lineup last year, my hot take is that they their their ERA is going to jump back. I think they're going to be top 10 easily. Mm-hmm. And then I think their bats are still going to be top 10, even top 5 maybe. And they're going to be in the World Series next year. Yeah, you heard it here. You heard it here first. I um I'm I'm not as I'm not as confident with this one, but I'm <laughs> I'm pretty high on the Philadelphia Phillies. Yes. Um they to me are a solid dark horse. I like a lot about what their team is, and it's so clear what the problem was for them last year um, that it almost makes it an easy fix. You know, like uh, mm-hmm. they had three starting pitchers, Wheeler, Nola, and Eflin, who had below four ERA. Mm, very nice. Yeah, and Wheeler was below three, uh, and Nola's obviously a stud. He had a three point two eight ERA. But whenever you have three pitchers, uh, starting pitchers for you that have a below four ERA, usually that means that you're gonna have a winning record <laughs> yeah. unless your lineup is crap. But, but their lineup's not crap because they finished ninth in batting average, third in on base percentage, and tenth in slugging. Okay, so what the hell's the problem then? We're doing good with our starting pitchers. We're doing really good with our lineup. Well, they had 13 blown saves. That was the most in the league yeah. by far. They lost 14 games after having at least a two-run lead. That's so they were up bad. by two runs <laughs> at one point or another and then went on to lose that game because their bullpen could not deal with the problem. Their bullpen ERA was 7.06. Oh, my God. That's atrocious. That's, That's literally atrocious. They need they need Liam Hendricks. Yeah, and, and I'm saying that they're going to get him mm-hmm. because, like, if I'm this management right now, I'm thinking to myself, okay, I have Bryce Harper. I got some solid people in my rotation. We went out and we bought Zach Wheeler, and that clearly paid off. Mm-hmm. We just – we need to get a – we need to get a reliable – closing guy who can seal out games um you know it's the one thing i didn't even think about and i, I don't know how it's going to affect their pitching staff but jt Romuto, one of the best ball framers in the entire league is i was not going back yeah i was mildly concerned about that i'm putting my faith in mm. um the actual starting pitchers themselves you know i'm thinking that you know albeit jt Romuto obviously helped i i think that you know some of these guys wheeler and nola can handle it uh, I also think if you're going to look at that from, like, a batting perspective, like, obviously you're losing, like, what is a really nice bat in the lineup. Mm-hmm. But we saw Alec Baum, one of their mm-hmm. very young rookies, emerge last year in 44 games, and he hit over 300, uh, you know, without a problem. So I'm I'm saying mm-hmm. that he is going to emerge as that other big bat to help Bryce Harper, to help Andrew McCutcheon, to help Reese Hoskins. And if they can get a solid bullpen guy – then I think Philadelphia Phillies will be a very scary team, um, and uh, and they should figure it out. Mm-hmm. And I'm, I'm going to go off of dark horse. I totally hear you saying that. Like those guys, I we both been saying they should be they should be winning. They yeah. should be winning more games than they are. Yeah. It's, it's the bullpen. Yeah, it was um, literally the so clear. For that. Um, the other two, I have two dark horses as well that might, you know, that could. I don't think they're. I honestly don't believe that they're going to make the World Series. I think they have a dark horse to make the playoffs. And that's the Milwaukee Brewers and the LA Angels. Because mm. LA Angels, like, it's clear what their problem is, too. Again, one with the whole, the, my whole theme this video is batting average in the ERA in 2019 right. and 2020. And, you know, in 2019, 20th about average, 20th, or 25th in the ERA. And then they signed Anthony Rendon. And then they had a couple breakout guys. Um, oh, my God, what's that one guy? I forget. There was one other guy that broke out of their team. Sorry, I can't think of his name right now. But he was good. Uh, and... They ranked 12th in batting average, so that jumped immediately, but mm-hmm. they're still ranked 26th in the array. So they're also on the market for power. Yeah. They're also on the market for all these starting pitching. Mm-hmm. They need more starting pitching, and if they can do that, I think they have a chance. A lot of playoffs. people are projecting that Bauer goes to the Angels. Yeah, um, you know? You know, like, that would make a lot of sense. Personally, yeah. I'm like, how uh, the hell do you have all this money? Yeah, seriously. You just <laughs> bought Rendon. You got Trout, Trout to a monster deal. How the hell would you be able to Ooh. afford Bauer? Not our team. Not my yeah. problem. Yeah. That, that's for them to figure out. I think they're and, a lot of top-heavy, like, in their, in their own Yeah, team. I, I'm, I'm not familiar too. with the contracts, but I'm like, I don't understand how you could do that. Yeah. 
but uh yeah no for sure dude like they they definitely need to have like i don't i don't look at their team and i'm like who is your ace like yeah. i guess Dylan bundy um, yeah, but is he he's, is he coming back with the team? Uh, I think he has another he's, year with he's them. Another year, yeah. Um, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. About, like if he's a free agent, I'd be like, well, let's oh, get yeah. him. Um, yeah, I haven't heard so. Him, so he's got I do him. believe that he has one more year yeah. with them. So if they were to get Bauer and you know have Dylan Bundy there, mm-hmm. like okay, you yeah. know, with Trout and Rendon, that could definitely yeah. work. That could definitely definitely work. I agree. And um, there's one other team we haven't really mentioned yet, and that's the Minnesota Twins. Mm-hmm. And where did did you have them on any of these lists or I put them in the third tier. Yeah. Uh, like I was kind of putting them in the same range as the Blue Jays, as the Phillies. Mm. Um I also put the Marlins there too. Oh yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, like I was just like, man, like they made it really far. Like yeah, yeah. they, I, they actually do have some good starting pitchers yeah. um that like aren't big names. So I was like, okay, you know, they're hopeful. Yeah. But yeah, the twins, man, um, it's uh, I think it again it comes mm-hmm. down to the pitching. Their lineup is, you know, pretty good mm-hmm. uh, in my mind. Um, but, yeah, uh, like they are going to be losing Odorizzi, obviously. Yeah. Um, and Rich Hill, too. I didn't think about that. 303 ERA last year and right. losing that guy. Yeah, so that's that's going to be, you know, they're going to need to fill those holes. I think that Jose Barrios really does need to take that next step up mm-hmm. to becoming um, an ace for them. Uh, you know, he's incredible fantasy-wise with the Ks, but mm-hmm. struggles sometimes with, you know, actually being a good pitcher yeah yeah <laughs> um like, so yeah and, and last year like i know we all know in 2019 like their bats were so good like they were literally ranked second in batting average mm-hmm. but like 2020 they actually were pretty mediocre they were like 18th in batting average and then 14th in era so like, mm. they did make playoffs and like, they did win the division too it's just like that after getting swept too it's like that's kind of embarrassing like the whole story of like they haven't won a playoff series in how many years like it's been a long yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, it's so, definitely been a while so for the I don't, Twins. I don't believe in all that kind of stuff where it's like, oh, like you're doomed to never win again. Yeah, no, so, no, but no. like uh, various storylines that don't make know. any sense in but, my mind. But it's like it's it's good to note that it's like you know they were they were average last year, so yeah, I would put them in that third tier as well. Mm-hmm, you know? mm-hmm. Is there anyone else that, like, like what about the Reds? Like, we haven't even talked about oh, the gosh. Reds at all. But, like, uh, yeah, I feel like without Bauer, it's like, I don't know, man. Like, I mean, they have a couple young guys like Nick Senzel and, you know, that, that catcher. What's his name? Walkers or Walkins. Um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, they're, they're like, they had a bunch of young guys coming up, but, like, they really haven't done anything yet. Mm-hmm. And it's like Joey Votto is aging. It's they like, do have a lot of mm-hmm. big contracts on older guys. Yeah, yeah. Um, so that could be a bit of a problem for them. Uh, and they'll probably need some people. They'll probably need some of those old guys, like, like Joey Votto to uh kind of resurface as yeah you know, and make those contracts a little bit more worth it for yeah. them because honestly if i was the reds like i know they oh yeah they got like uh, nick castellanos right like i feel like if i'm the reds like it's like you tried to rebuild but it hasn't shown any results you know what i mean like it hasn't really like shown like yeah you made playoffs last year but like you gotta owe it a lot to your pitching staff on that part too. Mm-hmm. Uh, like they didn't score a single run that entire series. Oh yeah, that, <laughs> you was, know? that was pretty embarrassing. That's embarrassing. So yeah, they're in a weird place where I was like, I don't even know if they're gonna make it next year. Mm-hmm. I don't even know. Mm-hmm. I think it'll definitely be Cubs taking that division with like Brewers fighting for that wild card. Mm-hmm. Uh, so yeah, that's that's it. That's all names I've kind of got here. Yeah, um, me too, man. I don't really. Yeah, uh, yeah I'd, I'd say. Um, you know, the first couple are definitely very safe. Um, mm-hmm. But with this, you know, like, do you think the Blue Jays have uh, some sort of shot going on? It's kind of yeah. scary when we put two of the top tier teams um, or that we, you know, we put two <laughs> top tier teams you in know, our top tier in our division. division. Yeah, like it, so, all, it all depends on because if we go back to the old format where it's like, you know, there's only two wild card and it's like top guys in each division, that means that we have to become third at least Mm -hmm. and then we have to that means we also have to beat like oakland that means we also have to beat um uh the cleveland indians and that's the only way that we're actually gonna contend next year but if we go back to the normal playoffs like we did this year i think we're absolutely we're gonna make it no problem yeah yeah we should we should absolutely at least be in that conversation but obviously there is some work to be done um Guys, let us know what you think in the comments down below about the teams that we thought were top tier, next level, 
and potentially hopeful if you think Adam is out of his mind <laughs> or thinking the Mets will make the World Series. It's going to happen. It's, it's going to happen. I don't I don't necessarily think so myself. I think. But uh, it, could, it could very well, you know. <laughs> um, guys, let us know what you think down in the comments below. And make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Anchor, Breaker, Spotify, Google Podcasts, and Radio Public. And make sure to also follow us on our Instagram and our Twitter. And send us money to Patreon, please. Always. 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 Guys, thanks for watching. And go, James, go.